Oh man, it's that Life Rig guy again. Hey there everyone, this is Life Rig. Welcome back to my playthrough of Eternacy 2 Untold. Today we're going to continue and hopefully finish the third floor today. Uh, apparently I was not ambitious enough because I should have just walked up here and triggered it already. But maybe we can go to the Duke's Palace and find out about it right now. Okay. Alright, back where we left off. We're gonna get stopped by Hrothgar here. I really should have triggered this last time, but oh well. Missed it. He's gonna say that we can't come here and that we should be going back to the Grand Duchy. Even though I went to the Grand Duchy first and like, you have to trigger this first before you can get it. I don't know why. You have to go here first. So even though my instinct was to leave immediately and not trigger it, I was supposed to trigger it and it would have saved me like a whole two minutes. Anyways, let's go see what's up. Alright, we're at the Dukes. Something bad happened apparently. Well, yes, I'm, I'm glad you remember our guild name. Dangerous, gotcha. New missions available. Find the missing guards. You can do that. Doesn't sound that dangerous at all, actually. Okay, guards gone missing. Everyone's scrambling to look for them, right? Well, that's a pretty substantial number. Okay, but you're letting us lower downs do it because... Okay, cool. He's putting some faith in us. That's good, it allows us to grow. This is a pretty easy mission. The fact that he calls it dangerous I think is kind of a joke, because all you have to do is avoid a bunch of FOEs and then get through the end. Alright, now that we've accepted the mission, Hrothgar is going to let us through. Alright, well, I mean, that's okay, I suppose. Well, if you know, why didn't you do anything about it? Alright, I guess this is the last I'll see of you. Goodbye, have a nice death. Uh, yeah, we got a bunch of dinosaurs. Just three, but, you know, still a bunch. Okay... Soldiers who never return, close to the forest, gave- Okay! Sudden roar startles us, know what causes slaughter. Giant purple dinosaur and his friends, dinosaurs! Gotcha. We can do this. So easy. Alright, there, there could be surviving guards beyond them. Check the region for any sur survivors. You must make your way to the monster somehow and get to that door. So they want you to specifically get to that door, not the one on the top, and not one, not anything along the bottom. The first thing we're going to do is stop the movement of the foes so that I can explore the room as I wish. And you can stop the movement of all the foes, including Big Giant Big Dad over there. So, we're going to start by doing just that. Have this tab ready. Now there is a wall of trap doors right there that those the two regular knuckleheads are going to avoid, but the big guy is going to jump. The big guy took a little bit longer to notice us, it seems. So, but do note the double column up here and the double column down here. This is all very really important, because these are the only trapdoors you get to work with. So those first two are stuck, but this one can jump the gap, which is scary, by the way. Jumps again. Alright, you kind of have to get his attention to move down, then get his attention to move left, then... Because he tries to jump over one, he'll land on the next one and fall down it. Then you have to repeat the process. Alright. That one activated that trap door over there. We want this one to fall in that trap door. Now let's see. Okay, our big guy should be able to get out of that hole. Yep. Now we have to lure him up here. I don't think we're running into a fight while we're in here. I'm, the game is pretty nice about puzzle foe having puzzle foes with low encounter rate rooms, and I'm pretty sure you can still run into one. So be wary of that. Alright, when the big guy is slowed, he will not jump the pits because he's slowed, so you can just lure him easily into a second one, and that's all of them. Alright, now that we've stopped their movement, we can do whatever we want. Okay, that preemptive was not stopped. That's a little bit 
That might be a little bit difficult to overcome. We'll see what we, what we can do about it. I'm gonna drop shot the guy in the back. Okay, that one fell asleep, that's good. That one missed its target, that's good. The warrior's up so that their debuff doesn't do anything, that's good. And then we, all we have to do is simply get things lined up and we should be fine. Also, Linda's gonna get a passive upgrade, which means she might get more uh, staff mastery or... I'm not sure if you can get a mastery skill. You might be able to. Anyways, yeah, a bunch of regular attacks now. That will just negate our buff and then... We attack as normal, and this one should die. Got tornado, that's nice. Okay, yeah, we got Staff Mastery, that's really good. It's really good. I want to say you have to go back to the Guild House before you can equip these. You can't just equip these on the field, but level 3 Staff Mastery, pretty nice. More attack, more TP. Definitely is going to help, especially if anyone else needs attack or TP. Not necessarily just Linda. But we're probably going to wait till level 10 to do it, because fire, having the fire spell is pretty nice to have. It's nice to have some form of elemental damage, especially since Flora isn't going to start working on her higher level songs until later. So they don't want us going through this door, or we can go through this door, but the stairs are over here and you're not allowed to go up the stairs. They're like, dude, you forgot to save the soldiers. Oh, I can even show you. Activate the shortcut, go down here, walk over here, and they're going to be like, Hey man, you kind of forgot something. So yeah, you can't go up until you get this mission done. Why do they let you go through here? Well, I let, it lets you actually take the shortcut and get here easier, but that doesn't mean anything. Anyways, with the, with the dinosaurs unable to move, you're just able to freely run amok in the room. Pretty simple, pretty simple area, we can just paint the rest over. And... Looks all nice and clean. Let's go. Alright, we should get a direction saying that we should go south and find them. Voice comes from the south, okay, yeah. So now it wants us to go south, we're gonna go north real quick and activate a shortcut. Not, I'm not heartless or insensitive or anything, it's just that the guards are actually capable of waiting, so... You know... You could take ten whole days to get this mission done, and no one's gonna care. Because that's how video games work. Double roller, double venom fly. I wonder if Flank Shot kills those two. No, not quite. Alright. That was an experiment. Not Probably not worth trying. Now we're gonna get people killed because of it. No, it looks like we're gonna go on... No, okay, that was dangerous. Alright, well, this still isn't a bad situation. Really, it's not. We just have to clean house and we'll be okay. But yeah, clean that guy up, and then clean this guy up. I mean, otherwise it's gonna turn out just fine. So that's what's dangerous about Double Roller, Double Venom Fly. Sometimes they'll try to gang up someone. Thankfully, it was Gandra they ganged up on, and she can tank the hits. My other characters would have probably died to any onslaught like that, where both the Venom Fly and a Roller targeted the same person. All that in here of no consequence. There's a locked door here, but that's not important. Note the locked door, though. What's important is that the guards that we're supposed to save are here. Frightened looking kind of cowards. Yes! It is us. Okay. Wow, really? That, that sucks. Well, that's nice of you. Thank you. I'm pretty sure we're gonna see him again. Um, also, I am... Wow, that is horrible, horrible mapping skills you got there, John. Put the entire thing a whole space lower than it's supposed to be. That's okay. Sometimes you make silly mapping mistakes like that. It should just... Yeah, this, it is that simple. Alright, that's everything. That's the entire third floor, but before we can continue, we gotta go back, so let's just walk our way back out. In fact, I do. I completed your mission. That was not dangerous at all. Yes, I have. Glad to have it.
Oh man, 900 money. All right, well that's that's fine, I suppose. Oh man, level eight. Now that's a that's a good reward, right? Ooh, level nine. Ooh, that's pretty nice of you. Pretty good experience boost, bro. Appreciate that. Oh boy, time to learn about Chimera. Yeah, you can accept the new mission if you want to. We will, because it involves Chimera, King of Beasts. Yes, I am. It's not a problem. Alright. Yeah, it's pretty powerful. Chimera's war that draws monsters from the upper floors down to the first stratum. By defeating this Chimera, eliminate the war and stuff happens. Alright. Pretty simple. Let's allocate levels, and I think I'm going to call it quits for the day, even though we didn't seem to do that much, but that's fine. We get closer to Warcry. HP up also substantially boosts our defensive measures, so it's a double double win there. More Snake Eye levels? I think I'm just going to get Snake Eyes higher. It's a powerful debuff, and I want it as high as I can. Linda, I have some choices. I can work towards healing and line heal. Line heal is probably really good for the upcoming fight. Or we can continue working towards Vital Hit. Vital Hit doesn't become really good until later. I mean, it is a really good attack skill, don't get me wrong. It just doesn't get that great until later. Now's a good time to work towards Revive. Uh, let's see here. TP up to 10. Means we can start working on Holy Gift, finally. And get risk perception to six. Alright. Let's go to Sid the Trading. Welcome. Oh, Sell all that stuff off. Oh, Alright, so that, that, that might have been a shorty, but a goodie. So, hey, everyone, this has been I Forget to Waste. I thank you for watching. Uh, next time will be an exploration of the fourth floor. I'm going to see you guys then. Bye bye.